Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you a little bit more about managing participants in a Zoom room. So remember to access Zoom, you're going to go to zoom.us and usually you're going to go to your account and you're going to schedule a meeting so that you can prepare for it in advance and share the, the link and the time with your students or participants in advance. But because I'm demonstrating this in a video that I want to record right now, I'm just going to go to host a meeting with video on. The host a meeting with video on is probably something you might want to do if you ever find that you've got too many people in a Google chat and you just want to move over to a Zoom room. So I'm in Zoom. It always does this, these little dialogues of it's launching the app and it makes you say yes to certain things. So don't be alarmed that it does this every single time. This meeting is being recorded. We have them set to auto record. That's so that you don't have to remember to worry about that, especially if the discussion is something that you think students who aren't able to be there would benefit from hearing. So I'm gonna stop the recording this time though. The recording has stopped. And there's a lot you can do in Zoom. I'm gonna focus right now on a couple things to point out and manage participants. So this bar on the bottom has all of the host options. Um, in order to look at all of your participants, you click on the manage participants. You can also have the chat open. So you kind of, if you, did you see how I pop that and then it opens up and I click on it again and it closes. And the same is true with the manage participants. Open, close open and I could close it again. Okay, so in, a, in an imaginary scenario where I have a lot of people here, each one of them is gonna be represented by an entry in this panel. It might even get long enough that I could scroll. We have the default set so that when the students come in, they're automatically muted. However, they can unmute themselves unless you take action. So you're gonna to wanna to look at that manage participants so that you're in the participants panel you're gonna to go to the bottom right where it says more. And this gives you a ton of extra little features that are pretty awesome. The one that I would want you probably to click on until you get maybe till your students also get used to this um, is the uncheck, allow participants to unmute themselves and uncheck, allow participants to rename themselves. So if we look at that, once we do that, students can no longer unmute themselves. So you have the control of muting a student and unmuting a student. And you can also encourage them to use features like, hold on, reactions, the um, thumbs up or clappy hands, do you understand, that sort of thing. Or you can actually even say to your whole panel of students, everybody give me a thumbs up if you understand. Or does anybody have a question? There's even an icon in here where you can raise your hand. Let me see if I can find that for you. I don't think I have it because I'm the host, um, but there is an icon in there for the students where they can raise their hand over here in the participants list. So my recommendation right now is that in, when you are hosting a Zoom, have that participants list open on the right hand side for yourself so that you can see all of the students. Remember you have the option to mute them all and remember over here, bottom right, more, and you wanna uncheck these two items. You don't want the students to be able to unmute themselves if you mute them. And you don't want the students to be able to rename themselves because that's not gonna end anywhere good. Okay, so I hope this information is helpful. Um, have a great day, everyone.